ashamed of you so much that you are no longer real? Is there still time for me to reach your breathing body, to kiss your mouth and make your dear voice come alive again? I have dreamed of you so much that my arms, grown used to being crossed on my chest as I hugged your shadow, would perhaps not bend to the shape of your body. For faced with the real form of what has haunted me and governed me for so many days and years, I would surely become a shadow. Oh, scales of feeling. My name is Corinne Zoom, and I'm originally from Paris, France, and I've been spending a lot of time in England, and now I'm in Wisconsin, directing, co-directing the White Church Theatre Project. Yeah, my name is Stephen Wasson, and I'm uh, from the United States, but I, I was out of the U.S. for about 35 years, living in Paris, where I met Corinne and then living in uh, London after that, and we just moved back. So it's, uh, it's a first time for a long time, okay? And I'm co-director of the White Church Theatre Project. I have dreamed of you so much that surely there's no more time for me to wake up. I sleep on my feet, pray to all the forms of life and love. And you, the only one who counts for me today, I can no more touch your face and lips than touch the lips and face of some passerby. Uh, Corinne and I were the assistants for, last assistants for Etienne de Croux. Uh, he's known in, throughout the theater world as the father of modern mime. He originally set out to find out what can the actor do with the aid of nothing without the costumes, without the director, without this and that, everything, and he, and he felt that the actor was kind of weak. He wanted, the actor ended up being a body on stage, and so he wanted to give the, uh, he wanted to make that stand on its own. And in the process, he created a technique which became, over time, known as corporeal mime, and he established an independent art form that did not have to rely upon anything else it's first cousin to dance, I would say. Um, sometimes the, 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 the line between a choreography and a mimography is really thin. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's first cousin to theater as well. Yeah. So it's really in between the two art form and like I said, completely open and not, I mean, any type of culture could find mm -hmm. Uh, away with control mind. It's, it's, not, it's not French, it's not English, it's not American, it's not Asian. It's really universal because based on the expression of the body. The duet is called Resonance 2. Uh, it's we created the first one, Resonance, in 1997, and so we, and we did that, toured it quite a few places, and then uh, now we're going back to it, but looking at that in a different way. And it's based on um, a dialogue between a famous piece of Etienne de Croux called Meditation, which was his, his Hamlet, so to speak, and so we, we take that piece, we I took it apart and, and established a dialogue between what we do and that piece. Mm. And at the same time, in the background, it's an homage to a poet uh, named Robert Desnos, that was a French poet uh, from the Surrealist movement. So, uh, so with, with Canopy, we, we had the a beautiful project. They asked us to choreograph uh, a corporal mind piece for them. It went really well um, for the preview. It's 
they, they have embodied what we were asking them to do completely uh, with enthusiasm and they are amazing. You know, it's, it's really nice with Canopy is the fact that what we did this project and we didn't know what would happen, you know, how well it would work, but it works, it works really well and they're very enthusiastic and we love working with them because they are they have that dedication of dancers to do something and then do it again and again and again until they get it <laughs> you know that's that's something yeah One thing that Etienne de Cru did was the fact that he he established it as an art form separate from the others, in that it can be used in theater, it can be used in dance, it can be used here and there, but it stands alone on its own. And it's like he said one time, uh, mime has better things to do than to complete another art form. And I found that pretty uh, perceptive. <laughs> 